The Z Fold 6 is the latest addition to the company's extensive foldable phone lineup, with potentially hundreds of features and design enhancements that might make it one of the most interesting foldable phone releases of 2024. However, the Z Fold 6 could be just another iterative minor step in the history of folding phones. Meanwhile, the OnePlus Open is unquestionably the greatest foldable phone we've seen with an impressive build and design. It also boasts a very capable camera, excellent performance and battery life, stunning screens, and a very affordable price tag. It's a phone that has many things right from the start, which has us excited about how a potential second-generation OnePlus Open would function. While the Z Fold series was the first to introduce a large mainstream foldable phone, the OnePlus Open accomplished so much straight away. The Z Fold 6's build could be slimmer and lighter than its predecessor, potentially made of titanium. Samsung has been reverse engineering its competitors' foldables, including the Huawei Mate X3, Xiaomi Mix Fold 3, and Honor Magic V2, to identify ways to conserve space. We're talking about a potential thickness of only 11 mm, which is an excellent performance, comparable to the OnePlus Open, which measures 11.7 mm when folded. With the Z Fold 6's predecessors, Samsung finally introduced a no-gap design, but did not address the dreadful display crease that runs across the panel like a canyon. We are hopeful that the Z Fold 6 will not have a display crease, although this would necessitate a significant hinge overhaul, which we are hoping for. Meanwhile, the OnePlus Open is a very lightweight and well-built foldable phone with no gap between the bottom and top panels, and almost little display crease, resulting in a very pleasant user experience. We expect the OnePlus Open to remain larger, and most importantly, wider and foldable. In terms of resistance, the OnePlus Open is just IPX4 rated, which means it is simply splash resistant, and any severe contact with water may cause damage. Meanwhile, we expect the Z Fold 6 to be IP68 water and dust resistant, enabling you to submerge it for up to 30 minutes. Each of these will have its distinct attributes. The OnePlus Open has a highly handy ring switch, which is a characteristic OnePlus feature. At the same time, the Z Fold 6 will undoubtedly support Samsung's handy S Pen, and if rumors are to be believed, the phone may finally include a silo to keep the attachment in place. The Z Fold 6 will be available in navy, silver shadow, light pink, crafted black, and white. The OnePlus Open is available in both Emerald Dusk and Voyager Black. As previously said, the OnePlus Open would most likely include a bigger display. It boasts a 7.8-inch internal display with a nearly perfect square aspect ratio and an exterior panel of 6.3 inches diagonally. Both screens are AMOLED with HDR compatibility, a dynamic refresh rate of up to 120 Hz for an ultra-smooth experience and a high maximum brightness on both. Furthermore, there is no display wrinkle, which is a huge bonus with foldables. However, the Z Fold 6 will have a 7.6-inch display, which is smaller than the OnePlus Open, as well as a Dynamix AMOLED display with a resolution of 2160 by 1856 pixels. Meanwhile, the exterior display might be 6.3 inches in size with a resolution of 986 by 2376 pixels and a refresh rate of up to 120 Hz for a smooth scrolling experience. The Z Fold 6 will be powered by the strong Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, which is currently the best available for Android smartphones. This is the same processor that powers the S24 Ultra, S24 Plus, and S24 in the United States. Samsung will most likely rely solely on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and not on its Exynos CPUs. That has been the case with prior Galaxy Z Fold phones, so it is logical for this tendency to continue. Meanwhile, the OnePlus Open is equipped with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. I believe Samsung will triumph in that regard. But it was the best chipset available at the time of the OnePlus Open's release, and it truly enabled the foldable to soar. In terms of memory, we expect the Z Fold 6 will have at least 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, with 512 gigs and 1 terabytes versions also available. Meanwhile, the OnePlus Open is available in only one configuration, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. The OnePlus Open is equipped with a decent camera setup. It features a 48 megapixels main camera, a 48 megapixels ultra wide, 
and a 64 megapixels telephoto with 3x optical zoom. The main camera has a big Sony Alloy TI-8808 stack sensor. This sensor's revolutionary pixel architecture allows it to capture more light and produce considerably superior dynamics than standard camera sensors. In terms of foldable cameras, the OnePlus Open is quite capable overall. If that one looks familiar, that is because Samsung has been utilizing the same fundamental camera system since the Galaxy Z Fold 4. We believe that the majority of the potential improvements will come from the software side. 50 megapixels main camera, up from 12 megapixels, with the same S slash 1.8 aperture. The OnePlus Open produces incredible sound thanks to its triple speaker spatial configuration, which also supports Dolby Atmos. The phone produces a strong and deep sound that's enjoyable to listen to. Samsung has never been shy about audio, so we anticipate the Z Fold 6 to do the same. The OnePlus Open had superb haptics because of its innovative X-axis motor. It remains to be seen whether the Z Fold 6 will be considerably superior to its predecessor. The Z Fold 6 is an incremental increase from the Z Fold 5, including the same 4,400 mAh battery and 25W charging. This time, I believe Samsung will fail us in that area. Meanwhile, the OnePlus Open has a big 4,805 mAh battery in the guts, which provides unexpectedly good battery life when compared to both foldable and candy bar phones. In terms of battery life, the OnePlus Open outperformed the Z Fold 5, so the Z Fold 6 has a long way to go. Charging will also make it difficult to outperform OnePlus. The latter enables super-fast 67-watt wire charging, which can fully charge the phone in just 43 minutes. While the Z Fold 6 will retain its predecessor's 25-watt wired charging, a full charge time of up to 80 minutes is possible. However, there will most likely be wireless charging on board. The OnePlus Open is probably one of the greatest foldable phones available right now. The OnePlus Open got so many things right from the start, including a fantastic design, outstanding cameras, top-notch performance, and long-lasting batteries. A second generation is also expected to be released this year. Samsung now has a worthy competitor in OnePlus foldable portfolio. The Z Fold 6 is shaping up to be a modest improvement over the previous generation. To beat the OnePlus Open, Samsung must be much more daring in its whole approach to foldable phones. It is factually true that Z Fold phones have stalled in recent years, despite being the first to enter the worldwide market with their distinctive foldable feature. Samsung says customers can save up to $1,500 plus on Z Fold 6 pre-orders, in addition to the bonus credit. Unlike in previous years, Samsung has not yet detailed how you will get to the full $1,500 plus, but we can make some informed predictions. I'd expect Samsung to offer at least $1,000 off if you trade in a Z Fold 5. From there, they'll most certainly run a double storage promotion, giving you 512 gigs or one terabytes for the price of a smaller amount of storage. The value could be somewhere between $100 and $150. The remaining $1,500 is most likely made up of additional credits you'll be given to go toward other products that save you during the purchase process. In other words, as best as I can tell, Samsung is not claiming that you will save $1,500 on a Z Fold 6, but rather that if you decide to buy one and take advantage of all of their offers when pre-orders begin, you will save $1,500 or more. All speculation aside, the best method to save money when Z Fold 6 pre-orders go live is to reserve your spot. Samsung only needs your name and email address to confirm your interest, and they'll use that email address to send you the $50 extra credit once pre-orders go live. So, that's all we know for now. We'll be sure to keep you updated as soon as we have more information. Thanks for watching.